really feel that we're sort of the tip of the wedge and what we hope is in a few years we're not going to need to have a biodiesel fueling station here at the Solar Living Institute because you'll just be able to drive up to your neighborhood gas station slash grease station and just fuel up on the fuel of your choice. We installed the tank, it's uh, full of recycled vegetable oil. Vegetable oil can be used in diesel vehicles. As a matter of fact, the original diesel engines were designed to run on vegetable oil. Rudolf Diesel in the 1890s. He's like, here's a fuel that can liberate farmers uh, from the evil grip of the petroleum companies. Uh, the petroleum companies immediately bought up the technology and converted it into a petroleum technology. Biodiesel is a blend of vegetable oil, either virgin stock or recycled vegetable oil that's uh, blended with a little bit of alcohol, methanol usually, not rum or gin. Basically, you just pump the biodiesel directly into a diesel vehicle, 100% biodiesel, 80% diesel, 20% biodiesel, 20, 80, 80, 20, 50, 50, doesn't matter. Any blend in the tank, turn the key, you're driving on grease, free from what we call dyno diesel. I don't think the solution to our energy problems is to be found in any single technology or any single fuel source. Solutions like ethanol, electrics, hybrid electrics, plug-in hybrids, there's a whole variety, different mix, different technology that's available now. What's available 10, 20 years down the road will be nice 10 or 20 years from now, but all of us have choices today that we can make that can reduce our carbon footprint.